Comrade? Is that the Helldivers Automaton reference? It's like a TF2 chain stab at the payload. I don't understand what spawning issues you're complaining about. I can barely make it out of Heresy Plus. I, was not I mean, I think that the, the other thing about sound is it's like, the problem isn't when sound works, the problem is when it doesn't. Like, 99 functional trappers. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't make the one trapper that was silent and ruined a run. <laughs> not, not do that. I have three cats on me. Oh, he's been he's been hit by the specialist squad. Look at the runs. Oh, I think I pressed the wrong button. I'm gonna be four stabbed out. No, okay, we're back. Okay, surely these guys can kill bots. Pray for the consoles. If you chose to jump aboard Phil Spencer's sinking ship, honestly, like, you deserve it. Wait, what, what, what's, what's happened to Phil Spencer's ship? Oh, uh, you haven't... He's like the most black billed boomer who like realizes he sunk an entire brand like almost single-handedly. Like there was first, there was a few months ago, there was this super candid interview where he's like, Oh yeah, basically we realized like we lost this console war, like we've been losing back-to-back -back console wars. Uh, and then he said like the most retarded shit, like, oh, you know, it's not even about the games, like, it doesn't matter if you make good games. When the fucking Xbox exclusive lineup looks like something, looks a little like Halo Infinite and Redfall. And like, those are your Xbox games, dude. Like, yeah, cool, sick. You've killed Halo, you've killed Gears of War, you're, you're a retard, basically. <laughs> like, it, it, you know it's bad when the PlayStation has a game. And you don't. <laughs> the PlayStation has a game. No! Yeah, no, like, actually, fucking, it's over. It's over. Star, don't, can't forget Starfield. <laughs> to be fair, though, that's not, that's not their fault. That's, uh, you know. <laughs> that was Bethesda. Well, I mean, <laughs> if you have a child, and that child grows up to be, uh, a thug getting his back blown out behind a Denny's for $200. That's your. That's so kind of your fault. You fail as a parent. Like I just. I don't think there's any force on the planet that can control the raw energy that radiates from Todd Howard. Yeah. <laughs> just, he has the the, 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 the the Todd adjustment field where anything near him conforms. Like as much as I want some features to be put into the base game, it's just like. You know. You chose this. <laughs> Like, I'm so used to mods now that it was so surreal to me the other day that I, I had a realization. There's people that have to walk in the Morning Star, like log onto a character, physically load in the Morning Star, walk to a shop, check it, load out, log back into another character, load into the Morning Star, go check the shop, and etc. That's that's just insane to me that that is the thing people have to do. That's how I live, but the secret is you don't have to do it. Because <laughs> I've been through that, like the get when the game launched, it was like that, and it was horrible. It's so surreal. So, so long as you know that you have uh, already perfect weapons, then you know at that point you can relax. <laughs> Bruiser one and eight and I absolutely shattered on that boy. I 
I, mean, I think the, the, the thing that bothers me is not really the, the Morningstar stuff, because for that kind of thing it's like, you know, um, you know, the craft outside the game I, I have a sort of fairly large toleration, tolerance for, but it's things like the full screen effects. Like oh, if, yeah. if, if I play the game without the full screen effects, yeah, like it, it's, it's, Especially because is... this was a problem in their last game too. Like, they have to be fully aware that like, this shit's horrible. Yeah, and it, but it's also it's just stuff like the Beast of Nurgle vomit covering the screen. Uh, it really shouldn't be the case that a mod can remove that. If it's intended to cover your screen, you shouldn't just be oh, able no. to mod it out. If it's intended um, to cover the screen, it's a bad gameplay decision. And at that oh, yeah, point, no, 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 cheating, I'm, I'm, I'm by not... cheating is improving the game. <laughs> no, I'm not saying it's not bad. I just feel like, you know, if I was an expro, I would genuinely... That would really annoy me. Like, I think it's bad that that's even a thing that can... You know what I mean? It's like it shouldn't oh, yeah, be a decision. Yeah. It's so fucking um, horrible, man. Done, and, you know, ditto stuff like the Red Skull remover and a few other things. It's just like... My mouse word is done. I did not touch it and a, and a knife was thrown. Uh oh. We have slain the bomb. What I would really like them to add is a um, what is an is an audio mix that is just like raw. Call it "fuck me up, fan," and it just plays every sound. At the mean, yeah, that's what copy. everybody wants. Well, I mean, it would sound absolutely horrible, but um, well, I don't care. I want to hear it. If it exists, I want to hear it. <laughs> yeah, but that, exactly. But that, that's the thing is, I want to see how it actually sounds. What's the backstab bonus again? 20%? 25. Something something I really would love to have is a a redesign to the way melee attack icons are displayed. And so for stuff like backstab attacks or attacks that have built-in properties, you just have a little icon showing a backstab that you can mouse over. It says this attack does 25% more damage more. I mean, the game um, at this point is due for like a whole UI redesign that explains stuff with like a glossary. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I mean a, a glossary, but it's it just particularly because they've got so far into showing so much of the information about attacks and then emit a whole bunch of really important stuff. And some of it's wrong too. The, the stagger numbers are still hearsay on quite a lot of it. There are some weapons that have incorrect... Dude, I have 2500 hours, I literally can't read the stagger numbers. <laughs> I can't even yeah. tell if they're lying or not. Well, but th that's the thing about stagger numbers is you could. That really is a case where the meat grinder. You would solve that by having enemies displaying their stagger amount. Right? Crazy idea. Because anything other than that, it's like, oh, it's eleven. What's oh, eleven? I have a hundred and fifty percent impact. Yeah, well, but to be fair, 150% impact, I, I think that's alright, because at least it's going well, you're just doing 150% more of whatever you're doing. And it's like, well... Whatever that was. Exactly, and it's like, the problem there is the, the base level understanding, you know what I mean? Uh, it, it, it also doesn't help that, like, a lot of enemies do stuff with stagger um, under different conditions. Funny ball work. The, the, the ranged finesse power point is an interesting one because ranged finesse power oh was a new term, and the person who wrote that tooltip invented that. That didn't exist anywhere in the game, and ranged finesse power was doubly misleading because it wasn't power. It's just finesse, right? Like why yeah, are they just... not solid finesse? Well, for the same reason that on the trees there's some places it says base damage and other places it just says damage. God, we had that just earlier. It's like what the fuck is base damage? But it's just damage. Yeah, it's just damage. Like, it's just the dude who was writing a tooltip felt a bit fruity that morning and was like, let's hit him with base damage, but not establish, like, what that means. Too many cooks. Too many cooks. I don't think it's too many cooks. I think it's just... 
I think there's one really schizophrenic dude. I just think it's just like a couple of different dudes working on different things and someone rolled in a tooltip and they never thought, oh, let's, let's standardize this. But partly because that's also something that like, if you've been working on something for ages, you, you don't see the need to really standardize it. So you're just like, oh, I know what that is. Yeah. Oh, I, I remember that one. Okay, it's got 25, I know it's damage. Cool. It says damage or something. Um, but it's it's... For a game like this that has reasonably crunchy systems, it's just like, you know, um, Path of Exile. It's really important that Path of Exile has the more increased distinction. And it's really important they stick to it. <laughs> Dude, I would love mouse over tooltips uh, on the Morningstar, but... Um, Complete faith that the Pogrin's large body would, um, no stamina, I'm stupid, would protect me from that sniper. It will. It's only 6 cube, I think, for a sniper shot. Yeah. Uh, Lionel, I, I mean, I think... I me killing the Pogrin right before the shot. No, no, I, Lionel, I mean, I think, you know, on, on how easy or hard it is to understand the mechanics is definitely something that, that they're aware of, it's just... Priorities. I need help. I'm dead. Oh, dude, also we need to complain. Getting a dog knocked off of you, you should be instantly up. Like, get rid of that animation. It's just like, two frames are up. It's so fucking annoying dying during that getting up animation. Like, there's situations where you save someone, but they, they still can- they are still condemned to die. And that's foul. Dumping aggro. We probably call those out more often. <laughs> you should be able to play a uh, a shard mode of the game, where the tooltips, like every single tooltip that's ever been wrong or misleading, they get randomly reintegrated back into the tooltips. For me, it's unlocalized. Screen. <laughs> also, is there any reason why Onslaught is renamed to like Rate of Fire now? Is it because there's an Onslaught in the challenge tree? Uh, yeah, no, I think I, I think it was just they, they felt it was a better name for me. Oh, the reload bug! Oh, sniper, I'm gonna punch me in the cock. Oh. That was a weird sound he made. What is he putting inside the sniper? It felt like I was hitting the, the Hank Hill Ash prosthetic. Fluids moving in it. Dumping aggro. I had no aggro. knife was that useful it gives you access to a really quick heavy attack like this is your fastest DPS rotation you can also stagger rages if you do a heavy or a quick attack and then you punch them 
One or both? Oh, none of those might be required to be headshots, I don't remember. I don't want to spread falsehood. Are you doing this in vain? Uh, I want to keep my hopes up. Good to die. Great boss. you do cool stuff like you can stun a guy then you go behind him and you kill him in the back it gives you cooldown back I guess that's a chaos spawn voice line Oh, my barrel's gonna go unused. on all sides there's no enemies around here they are Comrade? Is that the Helldivers Automaton reference? It's like a TF2 chain stab at the payload. Having the friendly pooches, dude. Friendlies are so annoying. They're, they're such a disruption to the normal flow of gameplay. And then they feel a tiny They're like, actually, let's make rules on why it's okay to kill me or not. It's like, dude, fuck off. Like, it's okay to do your little gay thing where you crouch in the corner and you spam the voice line, whatever. But if you demand that people don't kill you and you do it, that that's when it becomes fucking terrible. You're not entitled to people interrupting the fun they have by playing the normal game, so you can do nothing. And yeah, the random moments are funny too, like... 
when you empty the whole scatter gun, a scout and the other scout also misses every shot, and you just like look at each other and leave. That's funny. Same in chivalry too, that kind of stuff. And you can use like the voice commands to communicate. Like I love those little moments. But some cocks like go walking around with a sandwich for 30 minutes. It's like, bro, fucking like seriously. You're trying to force soul. Oh, total gameplay death. <laughs> literally can't see what I'm shooting at. Alas, I must uh, go and do real life things, but um, enjoy Goodbye. the run. It's over. Oh, Goodbye. I just met some here if you want it. Watch the shadows! Go on, Will. Ha! I will find the heretic! This is haunted. This is God! We love crab. Back! It's going to explode! Ah, where did this gameplay come from? It's suddenly bulwark. I manifested my own nightmare. It's like a tulpa, but evil. Interesting. Stop being attracted to evil women, Kuri. Even if they live in your head. No, you can't fix them. Grenades near the box. The gunner singularity is fighting back and they are not using their guns. I'm terrified. There's just some role playing, this could be the objective, I'm not gonna change it. It's a lot of fire. I'm stuck inside a single Foxwalker. That was haunted. Okay, let's go.
No hydrant. I'm extremely stupid. It's done. That was stupid, and I got away with it. Did not hear that dog. Let's go. Shadows, I find these bears. I'm doing it. Never mind. Oh, where are you? I'm here. I'm here. Vacuum capsule. Have we done? Stand together. Fight together. It's done. Spawn. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. I'm dying. Press F. Press F. Press F. Press F. Thank you. It's done. Spawns on you now. I got the back. Yeah, if you're solo in this event, she can get rough. Okay, Rod, we're leaving. Are you in trouble? I'm good. What do you mean, how stars on board? I mean, actual playtester for Fetra. Nah, no, I made that up. Yes, sir. Whoa! Oh, first 30 is nice, man. Unfortunate groaner away. That sound muffling from the burst is so horrible, dude. Don't think. Real spawn? Oh, 
Oh, I'm dead. That's over. Oh no. Mm -hmm. It's okay, I'm gonna go the other one. I am, however, stuck. <laughs> I'll have no clothes, it's a secret. Is the one on yours uh, the wounded one? Uh, I'm not sure I can attack. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a real spawn. I was like, why is it not dying? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. But wait, it, with that health bar, it should surely, surely it will die to this attack. It explains things. The dog's still alive, watch out. Yeah, beast now. Kicking the air, are you okay? Having a fit. There's a big ammo here on this side for you. Not only do I have inside info, I make the inside info. I give orders to the Swedes and they execute my command. 100% of the time. Dog! Confirm your suspicions. I made an announcement that I was. <laughs> Did you suspect? Do I give off late death revives? Do I down lashes? Do people just look like it? I just have a play test for phenotype. I didn't feel to slide there, I just crashed for comedic effect. I'll get that on my back. Fucking ammo brain. The glasses? I don't have glasses. Oh, let's get out of there, dude. Move back. Bad things happen in this hallway. Thank you. 
Oh. <laughs> no, no. Psycho is unfortunately not being pretty close to the top of the actually on the way. I think that's not true. Which means you get to blame me and only me if anything happens that is bad. What the fuck? Oh, the ghost fight. I need a cool punch combo. What the shit did he get? Farmer old man. The actual milk bottle. Damn, dude. Only old heads will remember this one. Oh no, there's some weird cooldown cool down shit going on with Spryers. We'll probably ask Commissar Tier about that, he probably has the answer. He knows everything. I was about to say, I'm gonna do something really stupid. I didn't expect it to be that stupid. I mark the trapper and then immediately unmark it. Actually, we're dodging though. Need to reload. Come on, Bristol. that this sniper made his I'm about to shoot noise and then nothing happened.
so nice. I find these Paid some shit for it. You know what? I don't even regret it. You should turn around to get on me, man. I knew it. I knew it. I felt it at once. I did not know that I was coming. I shit my pants. I am making a baby Venn diagram and I am juicing from it. Look at this. Tradition. Return. One of the most fun things to do is like unironically grab a a braced other gun. I mean a, an infantry other gun. Proc a dense to death and just hold it at head height and just shoot everything down. I'm not sure I get there. Are you a better though? What? He asked a question. I have no idea. I'm like stupid. I know this much how long ago that was. Charges. I will find the epic. See, I'm not doing it for the stuff, I'm doing it for the toughness. It's over. Oh, how about how the first burst or muffled the second one now? What is this? I'm sure you found my vids. The algorithm! I'm glad you like it. It would be possible without the other gamers like Rod. Thank you. One of my personal heroes. He's root hunted from his first time. He's paid, he's paid his due to society. Wait, I don't have a barrier of damage yet. I need to farm damage, so it's the pretty number. I need Ooh, a farm. Two bosses for that entire event. That was pretty boring. I yeah. don't think I'm gonna blow this one. Oh! Oh! Where is he? Hello? It's over. Oh, I never heard the thing make noises. It goes boop, 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 boop. Oh, there he is. Insane. Very balanced. There's gonna be Plasteel in there. Uh. Yeah, we shouldn't have baby bosses. I have some thoughts on monsters and how to make it better. It's funny that I, I mentioned I had a big talk with Jay Side. I'm kind of a I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> I'm kind of a big deal. Yeah. Do you have any idea who I am? Uh, and he, he, it's funny because I, I was about to mention to him that I think, you know, monsters being on special spawns is bad because it means they can scale with intensity, which can lead to horrible lows. And he said, uh, and before I could even say that, he's like, oh yeah, so I made this mod for true solo use that just spawns monsters on a, on a timer. And I was like, hell yeah, dude, my hero. If only we could have a mod support. He also said the banner boy was correct, which is good and true. My beloved thinks the streamer is an asshole that knows nothing about anything.